and joining not me on the couch, but Paul McMorty. He owns this lovely building that we film in every week, so check it out. Yeah, we're singers, kind of. He's at uni in England, so we're kind of we're in the studio over Christmas, and so we're just kind of waiting till he's back. Again. All right, fair enough. Carry on. Uh, influences? Uh, one each. Are you ready? Early Kylie Minogue. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Neighbours years or? Just, yeah. <laughs> no, I have two curly. Like, like, oh come on, they're curly. They're Dolly, Dolly, Dolly older. Kind of older. Not getting No. <laughs> too young. Too young to remember. Anyway, uh, influences? Uh, Gore. No way. I've never met anybody that actually <laughs> admits to not like a gore. It does make me laugh. No, it's Fanga Boys. Fanga yeah, Boys. Fanga 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 Boys. Triangle. Speed metal triangle. Speed metal triangle. <laughs> Double kicks on the triangle. Oh, that could work. That could, could work. Could, could. Triangle awesome. break. So um, you're not opposed to putting yourselves in the metal category. Are you a metal uh, band? So some people say we're actually 99% pussy, but 1% metal. So it's how it is. So 1%. It is. It is. That's that, it. Like. Okay. If you had to move into a different genre, what would you do? Free jazz. Free jazz. Ooh, like yeah. So um. You've played gigs to nine people and a hundred people. What's the worst gig you ever played? Oh my! Uh, uh, straight down. Like, yeah, oh, really? Oh god! Yeah. No, the what do you call that one with the L? Ship. Oh, the the the, the hoot. <laughs> the, the stage was an L. Ship. Oh, it was a hoot, and I broke a string in three seconds. Is the first song. Oh, that was great. It was the stage that made you break the string. It was an L ship stage. It was so. I, I know. I'm still Sam. The, the still bar Sam, was maybe about two meters wide, and the stage was one of those meters. Best gig. What was the best gig? You ever Best gig. Donigans. Yeah, back in Byers Sparkle Donigans. Yeah. We filled uh, it was right. packed out and it's just a little standard pub, but yeah. it was just full of people just loving it. We people you know? Intimately with the people you know. No, it was just a lot of parents. There were no parents with us, right? They were at the sideline. We were just yelling yeah, yeah. horns. No way. No way. I can't, I can't get that. I, I can't figure <laughs> that, you know? So, uh, so many TVs at the hotel rooms? Done that yet? It's a few widescreens. Just a few widescreens. Yeah. <laughs> What's the most rock and roll thing you've ever done? As a band or individual? I think it's a band. As a band. Rock and roll thing, a band. We all, it was in Sligo, we all, it was good when we saw it, but we all, yeah, we were yeah. down and basically it's, it went with the Sligo to play a, a competition, and we ended up winning. Then we just got lured off and trashed the city. <laughs> <laughs> and they, were, they were just carnage the whole way no, back no, to no, no. Just for the purpose of the interview, Sligo only has two streets, so it wasn't really a city. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? They're, They're too long streets though. Mean? No, it's the same street, they just take you up a different way every time. <laughs> this is it going down, and this is it coming back up. There's 84 pubs though, did you notice that? A lot of pubs in Sligo, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you've done your big gig in Bangor. Right. Yeah. Where's the where where really do you want to play? Where where really do you think if we can play here, we've done it. We've done it. I don't think you can say there's one place you play and you've made it, but I mean I oh, it must be you know that well, way. You, to... Do you know that way you come out, right? You're in your bedroom and you go, Good evening, put a can You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, Welcome. Done, <laughs> done, I would say like <laughs> a, a big yeah. festival like download or something. Download. Just something just something metal. It's just so as we know, because if we can get on it, you know, you're definitely coming with it. Yeah. Right. Line up. What are you? You play I the guitar. You're a guitarist? Right, then. You're a guitarist? I am a guitarist. And if you had to play with your favourite guitarist, who would it be? Play as in play the instrument. Let, let's let's play. get Snap Cargo on the Oh, not, on, not, not a bit of. Yeah. <laughs> not <that> there. <laughs> Thunder. <laughs> Thunder. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thunder. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, play as in a. Um, I'd probably be down by Thunder. Play well oh, on stage man. with someone, yeah. Because I never got to see Pantera or. Will Obviously you know, not. Yeah. Get over it. I have. Um, and you play what? What do you do? Drums. You're a drummer. Drummer. He's brain dead. Brain dead. Drummer. Okay. <laughs> so if you got to do a drummer, 
rum off type thing. <coughs> Yeah. I can't here. Oh, here we go. <laughs> what? Are those hair? Your boy from Canada. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's feel. Such a double kick. Adam D from Kill Switch. Oh, Andrea. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, what? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I would give it up. High five. So here. High five. So no, no, no. is it a is it a duo <laughs> guitar thing or is somebody take more lead role? Um, take more we, we kind of started, you know. I was like, I thought I was badass, so it was like. Yeah, Stand back, speak. but then it kind of faded out and faded into more into the dual guitar riff kind of kind of vibe. Uh huh. Kind of like a kill switch. Where's the weirdest place you ever played in band? Jet, jet, in in an outside of the band. Yep. Probably in my, my mate's driveway while trying to sling the guitar around, around my shoulder. You tried to do I've it. done it, and then I've done it in the, my back garden in Bangor. Yeah, you you never done smashed it, it I smashed my guitar. Because you always know there's a light on stage. <laughs> I know, I don't see it, never do it on stage. I'm God's watching it, and you do that. I've done it and smashed, yeah. the, uh, smashed the guitar. I've played it naked before, like, just because I wanted to see what it was like. <laughs> He's looking at his man. <laughs> okay, kill the camera, kill the camera. What? <laughs> Yeah, we'll Experience drums, We didn't even know that. Listen, thanks very much for coming cool. tonight. I really Thank appreciate you. it. No problem, man. Cold night, pissing rain, and you are sitting <laughs> on my couch. Thank you very much. Cool. Thank you. All right, Vitaria versus <laughs> Rock Band. Let's get you it know on. Where are those drums <laughs> Very good, but just not good enough, guys. Second place. Second place. Second, second, second bit and last. First place to the losers. By 3,000 3, points. 3,000 points. How's it feel? You're beating the skip field. That feels pretty, pretty good. So, <laughs> sorry, boys. Okay, a little bit of a controversy here. Although Vitaria came second by 3,000 points, they took it upon themselves to choose to play it on hard mode. We normally get the bands played on medium, so yeah, we're still going to keep Nice Guy there on top of the board. Join us next week when we have Gamma Bomb on. I'm a big Gamma Bomb fan. Love Gamma Bomb, Gamma Bomb, Gamma Bomb, Gamma Bomb. Massive fan of Gamma Bomb. Yeah, it's gonna be brilliant. Gamma Bomb. I love Gamma Bomb. So excited about that. Woo! Gamma Bomb! Yes, baby. Can't wait for next week. Gamma Bomb! Come up.